pork roll. We are sad we didn't have it in our rotation a lot sooner. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And it's gonna be a quick one. I just wanna talk about the love of pork roll. I love, to, especially the tangy pork roll. I don't have any props here with me right now. I'll put a pork roll up over here. Uh, pork roll is, is really a fantastic uh, alternative to bacon. Um, bacon can be a little bit of a pain in the neck to, to, to cook. It's greasy, uh, not greasy, but it's splattery. It can soil up your, uh, your uh, stove top and cooking in the oven sometimes isn't always, uh, doesn't come out as crispy or as uh, the way you want it. It's easier, but, but one thing I just keep forgetting, I walk by it every time, it's pork roll. I mean, I know they have those name brand pork rolls. Uh, I forget t uh, who makes it, but pork roll is, is a high fat, low carb um, breakfast meat, they call it, but you just eat it whenever. I put it on burgers, I put it on, uh, I just eat it, eat it, heat it up, melt some cheese on it. It's, uh, we get it, we can get the case brand at Walmart for $1.76 for six, uh, four ounces, I think. Um, and it doesn't, melt away. I think I'm going to do a test next week. I'm going to take a pound of th thin bacon, a pound of thick bacon, and a pack of thin sliced uh, pork roll and a pack of thick sliced pork roll. And I'm going to cook them up and weigh the pre-cooked amount and the after cooked amount to see how much actually gets lost in the, in the bacon cooking process. So I think ounce for ounce, they're about the same price if you buy your bacon on sale. Um, but I think everybody should have it. It stays good forever and it's, it's, you cook it up fast and easy and it's delicious and it's satiating. So if you're you know, just starting on your low carb keto carnivore journey or if you're, you're you know, far along in, in your, in your uh, healing process, bring pork roll in. It's, it's, it should be a staple in every, uh, every low carb person's house. So we'll see you next week with our little scientific uh, weighing test because I'm curious to see what the actual post cooking uh, per ounce cost is. Have a good week ahead.